So I hear you're having trouble with Bison. Let's fix that. Bison is a knowledge check character. He likes trying to make it his turn for the duration of the game. Unfortunately for him, a lot of the pressure is fake pressure. The Bisons you're playing down in the ranks of rookie to plat often go autopilot. And while forced to think about their moves, they fall apart. This video will be broken down into three parts, engages, pressure, and V triggers. If you know how to deal with these three parts of his gameplay, the wins will be yours for the taking. So Bison has a few engages that you're gonna wanna watch out for and know how to punish because if you're not punishing this he is getting away with way too much on you the first one is going to be the v skill 2 which is very popular with bison players now it is this move here where it crosses you up and teleports them you could throw this move you could jab this move you can medium punch this move into a combo and you could also rush counter this move into a combo. So this move is very unsafe for him unless you block it. When you block it, he is plus on this move. So don't block it, just punish the hell out of him. And then to add on to that too is a lot of Bisons will actually try to fireball and do this like that. And you basically guess wrong. But what you could do is just throw him and you become invincible to the fireball so just throw him be invincible that's the end of it it's super simple okay and then next we have his dashes which a few players especially the lower rank players have trouble with is that teleport dash because he is inv invincible for like a mere second less than a second but you could just you just jab it jab it and medium punch it if your character has a fast enough medium punch like that. And that'll get me a combo too. So yeah. You could also throw the, the dash too. Since it is such a punishable move. Um, but there is a caveat to that. Which I'll show you. Is when Bison V triggers. He will try to cross up dash you like this. Your best bet to dealing with this is being mobile. Get the hell out of dodge and don't try to let him cross you up a million times with a dash. His whole game plan with that is to try to make you guess wrong. And if you get out of the way, you can't guess wrong. And then another thing they'll do is fireball dash, which can be somewhat tricky to deal with, but a fireball at this range leaves you at minus three. So what you're gonna wanna do is walk into it and you'll be less minus. And if you walk in close enough, you can actually punish him right off the dash. But yeah, you get what I mean. Even if you just walk in, he's less, it's a less safe option for him in general. And then finally, the devil's reverse, which a lot of new people have trouble with because they haven't actually had practice with it. So he jumps up and he does that weird thing. You could just anti-air this. You could DP this. Um, it may take a little while to get used to the arc on it, but it's just like a normal jump. He Anything could punish it and anti-air. So yeah, just anti-air that shit and you will be able to beat bison a lot better than you have before if you practice all this stuff all right so we all know bison has some pressure but not all of us know how to deal with it um bisons they usually try to go for the same string over and over again um meanwhile that string is actually fake pressure so it'd be this one psycho axe double crouching medium punch into stand heavy punch and also the blast at the end so Psycho Punch, minus one. Approaching Medium Punch are all minus. The Stand Heavy Punch is the only thing positive, but it has a 10 frame startup. So, the Psycho Blast, you could interrupt with a 4 frame. The uh, Crouching Medium Punches, you can interrupt with a 3 frame. And the Stand Heavy Punch, you can interrupt with a 4 frame. Yeah. And then... The last part of that is a little bit trickier to decipher what to do, but the heavy one, you could just normally DP through it. So that one right there, you can DP. 
If I block it. I'm doing it slow. You can just DP through it. Um, then you have the light one, right? You're plus two on it, but you can't DP through that one. It's too fast for it. So just take the block on it and it's your turn after and you can do really whatever you want and enjoy your turn back against the bison. <laughs> And then our last one here is the medium, which is going to require an EXDP to go through it. Like that. Um, and then finally, for a thing that has a lot of pressure too, is this move. He is minus two on it, so it is your turn after. Reframe him. Do a little leg kick. Let's see if I do it. Like that combo. Um, yeah, so the the little jumping charge sweep thing he does. The psycho scissors is negative for him, so don't let him abuse that on you. Take your turn back after that. For V trigger one, there are two things to watch out for. It is his activate on scissors? which is minus two. So take your turn back after that. I'll show you what it looks like. You'll scissor and you'll activate. And basically you have all the time in the world. Just throw that three frame jab. So that is something that is very common is scissors then activate to try to get um, a cheesy turn back, you know? And then next thing is when he is activated like that, uh, v trigger 2. A common thing when he gets knocked down um, on will be he'll do that. It's invincible on wake up, but you could still anti air it. So just anti air it and you're fine. If he V triggered, just be on the lookout that he will probably devil's reverse on wake up. Alright, so Bison V trigger 2. There's two things to look out for on that one. The first one is the, the slide activate. He is minus two initially from it, and he will not be in range for the command grab you. You see? So he is basically doomed to fail from that. And the next thing to look out for is when he does do that, he's usually going to dash after, so just punish the dash. We already went over punishing dashes on Bison. So he won't be able to command grab you. And then after that, we're going to go all the way here. Oh no, so the next one is target combo. Sorry. I'm thinking v v trigger 1 for some reason still. But yeah, you want to go to number 2. And it's the target combo there. Just gotta wait for him. And then he'll usually do it, so. Boom, boom. And he could command grab you from that. So what I'm gonna get you to do, if I didn't walk back, he would command grab me. Yeah, so that's the command grab. So what you should be doing is you should be V reversaling. So he doesn't command grab you and you get out of dodge. So that is V trigger two. Um, do with it what you will. The game plan you're gonna wanna follow for Bison is knocking him down and making the Bison overextend. Bison in general has very low defensive options or a little bit below average. So if you can make him overextend or knock him down, you're gonna most likely beat him. Go ahead, like this video and share it with your friends who need help versus Bison. This concludes the Bison matchup guide.